General Hospital Spaller teases that Healer is determined to be facing a rather serious health condition. Faced with this situation, Laura Collins plan to ensure that Healer Weber was transferred to San Quentin as soon as possible, with the goal being to give Healer a better chance of treatment. Previously, Healer had been diagnosed with copal poisoning after a long ago heap replacement. That had led some doctor to conclude that Heather may have had a direct influence on the crime that Heather has committed over the years. Thus, Heather's cruelty may more or less stem from disease that Heather suffered from. It is known that about poisoning is said to have a direct effect on the patient's, patient's personality. However, it cannot be determined whether he is truly affected by this disease or not, but given a doctor conclusion about Hitha's illness, this is working in Hitha's favor. Hitha would take advantage of that reasons to be free after the judge consider it. And can reduce Heather's sentence because he has this disease. Many fans probably still remember that Heather was the one who caused the death of Bruno Corbin and Britt Westburn. These things happen when Heather tries to attack Jocelyn Jacks in the name of the mysterious, the hook. Of course, Heather was considered a crazy woman, so he was transformed from one mental hospital to another instead of going to prison. That made many people angry. Luckily, he was eventually transferred to Benton View Prison. However, according to the latest conclusion from Dr. Heather can fight freedom once again. Of course, many people will object to Heather being freed, because then Heather will still not have to suffer the appropriate consequences for her crime. Another possibility is that Heather is transferred to a reason with a loser security than Benton View, which would also be very beneficial for Heather if it actually happened. One of those who opposes this is Shasha Gilmore. Obviously, Sasha cannot easily accept this because Heather has committed unacceptable crimes. If nothing changes and Heather is truly released, Sasha would definitely not live the person who murdered Sasha's husband alone. Sasha will spend a large amount of money to hire the best lawyer to put Heather in prison forever. Even if that lawyer fails, Sasha may decide to act on her own. Sasha thinks that if the law can't do anything to Heather, then Sasha would do it. Sasha could hire an assassin or kill Heather herself in an episode in the near future. In the end, Heather is facing a great chance of being released early. Will that disease really help Heather be released? Meanwhile, Sasha will also find a way to force Heather to pay for the things that Heather has done. If Heather is not punished by the law, in case Heather is released, everyone in town will have to live in fear again, because Heather will definitely continue her cruel action.